January 1, 2021 marked the next phase in the Copper Free Break Initiative, an agreement between the EPA, states, and industry associations to reduce the amount of copper and other materials in brake pads. The agreement calls for manufacturers and importers of brake pads to limit the copper content of their products to no more than 5% by weight by January 1st of this year. The voluntary initiative also calls for the reduction of mercury, lead, cadmium, asbestiform fibers, and chromium-6 salts in motor vehicle brake pads. Copper has been used by humans for thousands of years, and it's long been used in friction materials because it's a good conductor of heat. But here's the problem. As brake pads wear down, copper and other metals can be deposited under roadways, where the contaminants are washed into streams, rivers, and lakes. Copper is toxic to fish, plants, and other wildlife, and it can end up in urban water supplies. California and Washington have led the way on the copper-free initiative due to the tons of copper-laden brake dust particles left on the roads from braking. In 2010, these two states enacted laws mandating that the copper content in brake friction materials must be reduced to less than 5% by 2021 and less than 0.5% by 2025. This has spurred an industry-wide shift away from using copper in brake products. Thanks to the 2015 agreement that we talked about earlier, their laws have become the de facto standard for the entire nation. Over the past decade, brake manufacturers have moved rapidly to develop, test, and introduce new low copper and no copper friction materials. And some suppliers have always been copper free. Many of the low copper and copper free brake products introduced to the market over the past decade are being sold as premium replacement products. However, as that 2025 deadline approaches, you can expect to see low copper or no copper brake pads across the good, better, best spectrum. So how can you and your customers tell if a brake friction product complies with these standards? Well, you can look at the leaf mark on the product information label. As we explained in greater detail in a previous video, the label can range from a single shaded leaf to three shaded leaves. A label with all three shaded leaves means that the material contains 0.5% or less copper by weight and meets the 2025 standards. As we move toward the 2025 deadline, you're going to see less of the old high copper product in the market and more and more of the new low copper and zero copper taking its place at a wide variety of price points. If you haven't already, now's the time to make sure that your store is making the shift to low copper and no copper brake pads. You don't have to compromise on quality either. There are brake pads on the market that deliver outstanding performance while complying with the industry standards that make them friendlier to our environment. I'm Josh Cable. Thanks for watching.